guys, it's Reenactment Day here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a restoration project. Now, this restoration project is unlike anything I've restored before. Uh, it's a lot bigger than, and a lot more parts than I've, anything I've ever restored before. You've seen me restore, you know, a shovel, helmets, a lot of M1 helmets, and stuff like that. But now we are going to be restoring something else. And what is this thing? I think you can probably tell by the shape and the size of it. This here is a 1944 Willys MB. Now, it's in. Need some work? I'll go over the list of what I need. What I need to do to this thing. Well, first of all, I got that. Well, main thing is it needs to be put together. But you can see. Tub's not in bad shape. There's a lot of pieces over there. This Jeep is about 95% here. It's just in a million pieces, and pieces need to be cleaned and painted. But most of it's here. So, I got this Jeep. You know, wanted a Jeep. So, went out and got myself a Jeep. It hurt. <laughs> the price tag hurt, but when I'm done, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun project. Now, go over basically the basics of what need to, needs to be done to the Jeep. You can see it's red right now. I have to repaint that. Uh, before I do paintings like last on the list though. The floor, right here, the floor is a bit kind of rotted and dented and stuff like that. Uh, if I can find a way to save out, well, back floor is really dented in. If I can straighten that out. I'd pro probably like to keep that original. Front floor, it looks fine, but all the supports underneath, all the uh, reinforcements, all the you know support bars and everything are rotted through. Floor itself is fine. I don't think they make any supportment bars, repros of those, and so I may have to get a whole new front floor panel, but back floor is just dented in. May have to replace it, may not. Haven't really gone into too uh, much of a depth. This uh, working on the tub is Probably one of the last things I'll be doing. Uh, so I mean, the basic order of what I'm going to be doing is get the tri dr uh, get the frame set. So the frame right now is a little bent, but that's nothing much, nothing worrying. Definitely, um, one of my neighbors restores old cars, and he said he saw that and was like, "Oh no, that's fine. It, it, that's an easy fix. So don't have to worry about that. Just bend it back, um, clean it up, paint it, then." Put together the drivetrain. Uh, put together the drivetrain. Probably store the Jeep. Well, that part of the Jeep somewhere else for now. Work on the tub. And then just put the tub on top of the frame. With all the engine and transmission and stuff. So, that's kind of like the main idea of what I'm going to be doing. You know, that's the basic order of what I'd like to go on. Let's see. So, we got the tub. Uh, over here a couple more items down here gas tank left fender radiator shifter knob and seats over there so also I don't think I actually finished going over the tub so the tub the uh, back toolbox needs to be fixed both of them but what's nice is that I have all the parts to fix it back tailgate's gone but the back tailgate also well not tailgate tail wall or uh, I, it was cut out to be a tailgate, you know, just to be used as a truck, but I have that replacement piece right there. Then, down here, you can see this is all, like, pretty badly repaired, and this is probably, this is all going to be have to cut out, but I do have this one piece as well, which was very nice. So, off to a really good head start. On the tub, if... I do have to replace the floor. That's what I'd need to buy, but all the other pieces I have. So. All right, moving on. Anything else in here? I'll make another video going into more depth of what I have. And this is gonna be a long series, probably gonna be about a year or two. Depending on how quickly I can have it done because I don't really have any bills or anything to pay off right now or anything like that, so. Figure now's the best time as ever to 
get one of these before I actually have all those bills and stuff to pay. So, Jeep. Um, you got the fan. I'm pretty sure this is for the windshield. And a lot of these pieces, I don't really know what they are yet, but I'm sure I will know by the end of this project. So moving over, I'll just show you basics. Windshield frame right there. The canvas cover bars. This is the back wall, so it's right there. And this is the iconic Jeep grill with the folding headlights. That's one of my favorite features on it, the headlights that can fold back. Uh, but got a book right here too of every Jeep part. And yeah, well, let me go over and show you the engine. All right, here's the engine. Now the engine is different than the actual Jeep. This engine right here is a 1945 GPW engine and it runs. That saves me a lot of work. He, the person I bought this from already rebuilt the engine, already took care of it, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, the transmission needs a little bit of work, but he bought all the pieces required to for the transmission. And yeah, it's a nice engine. It is a four cylinder uh, flat top engine. It's like flat block or something. Something. Well, it's a four cylinder engine. I know currently right now, I know the basics of car mechanics, <laughs> nothing too in depth, but uh, you know, if I open the hood of a car, I could probably point out, of course, the engine, where to check the oil, check all your fluids and stuff like that. Basic maintenance before you go on a road trip. But like really in depth of an engine, I don't know quite yet. So that will change. See right here this is where the oil dip tube is right here, but you know, there's no oil in there right now. Uh, labels on the engine really haven't found. Well, I gotta look through them and do uh, get everything sorted out. There's a lot of stuff to sort out. Uh, one thing that I do really like is the guy that I bought this from wrote on this on this box what he has and. You know, pinto loops, cap, e-brake tube, but it seems like right here you forgot the word for the steering bracket thing, so he just drew a picture of it, and to be fair, I mean, I, looking through, I knew exactly what he meant, so, yep, so that was, that was a bit fun, I'm like, saw that, and I'm like, I know what he means, <laughs> that's fun, um, like I said, it's a 95% complete Jeep. Has almost everything needed. It just needs to be put together. All right, a couple more things. Just I brought them out in the open. We can see them sorting through everything right now. Got the windshield right there. Needs a little bit of work, but it's original and it was original to the Jeep. So I'd prefer to keep that with the Jeep if I can. There's a back wall. You can see all the spots for the headlights. Pretty sure it's upside down right now, but you know, you get that point. Uh, gotta probably drill in the holes for like the gas tank holder and everything, but drilling holes ain't that bad. And then we got the frame right here for the uh, canvas top. Then if we go over here, the iconic Willy's Grill. Yeah, yeah, that's all painted up and nice and ready to go. Over here rear axle all fixed up and nice and ready to go came with five original combat rims i'm pretty sure i'm not too sure how to check but he said they were original combat rims good repro tires on them check the tire pressure i'm on i gotta we'll get there that's not on the priority list yet um so here's the back one spare tires over over here right there Here's the front axle right here, again, ready to go. Got the drive shaft right here. The rest of the drive shaft is over there, sitting on the floor. That'll change. I uh, got a flex pipe right here, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see what else. This did come with, I'm pretty sure it's an original first aid kit. the noise but 
There we are. Try and get that mounted in if I can. Because that is very nice. I'll just put that back over there. Put that away in a minute. Oh, let's see. What else? Just kind of go over some basic stuff. Clutch, brake pedals. There's pretty much just everything for the brake and clutch. and Well, not everything, but most of it, you know. Things. I'll figure out what everything is. Definitely looks like a lot right now. It looks like a lot, but very simple at the exact same time, and it's confusing. Uh, let's see. This is the power regulator right here. Only have one of these side bumperettes, or not bumperettes, one of these side paddings right now, but I'll find another one eventually. Bunch of stuff. In here, we just got like some stencils, or I don't know what, these aren't stencils, they aren't stickers, they're the kind you add in water and, and stick. I don't really remember what they're called, but you know. Here's that. This is a stencil. And just like bits and doodads everywhere in here. And then over here, got the shifter for the, you know, shifting gears and all that. Generators in there, right on the bottom. Put that on the bottom because it's heavy and I don't want it to crush everything. And actually, you can see on this tub, right here, there was a CJ. Uh, gas tank put in this, you know, civilian years, and they cut out a slot for the uh, tank. So that's already welded up and ready to go. So that is nice. Probably got to touch that up right there, it seems like. But yeah, that's all pretty much all welded up. So just got to finish it up and gas tank is now in it. Been rearranging everything here. Yep. Yep. Step over there, uh, passenger and driver's seat. This is the driver one, you can see it has the gas tank hole. And the one below it must be the passenger seat. So, very good. The uh, padding, I'm pretty sure is original and in good shape. Uh, moving on, we got some pipes and stuff for the windshield wipers and whatever else I need. Um, this pile right here is uh, stuff for the Jeep. So in these, in this pile are the rest of the toolboxes. Let's see, he, he has a new one of these pieces right here to cover up this, but, oh, oh no, I, I get it now. I get it now. Yeah. So he has a top piece for this. Makes sense now. And some pieces for the, uh, toolboxes. They said, uh, yeah, there was latches. They put on latches for some reason. Which, I mean, you know, it makes sense why they would put on latches. But I'm pretty sure there would just be a, a lock there, so I'll have to take care of that. But that's not a big deal. Uh, other toolbox is currently non-existent. Non-existent. And this piece is just temporarily welded in for support while the back of the Jeep is also non-existent. You can see that warning label over there. That's fun. Very fun. A massive fly just hit the wall next to me. And just stuff. Over here, now we are outside. This is going to be stored outside. Trust me, I was worried about it being outside in the rain too. But they said uh, it's been outside its whole life. It will last a few more days. So, frame right here. Have that back piece, have the little thing for the transmission and all the missing doodads here. Machine gun pintle. Actually, I gotta check and see if the frame or the body actually has a couple holes. It may. I looked at some old pictures, I'm like, hmm, maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. We will see. I'm not gonna go drilling holes if it ain't there, so. If anything, that's just another person I can fit there. It has a tow hook, or this hook right here, which I've been told is pretty rare. Uh, I think they said it was only on like certain Marine Corps Jeeps. There's only one on the side, so I don't know if it was added post-war or if it's added during the war. 
Don't know. Front bumper's inside too. But there's the frame. I'm gonna need a little touch up. Frame is a little bent too, a little crooked. But my neighbor who restores old vehicles have, has had, had to deal with that problem before, so he has the tools to do it. And so I'm all set there. And a bunch of stuff. Probably have to touch up like some rust and stuff, just places and touch up some welds and basic work, but you can see the frame is not rotted at all, which is nice. It's very nice. So, the frame. Alrighty, well, I ain't got really nothing for uh, ya right now. Here's a better look at the Jeep grill. Right there, fancy, the iconic. But, I uh, don't really got anything else to show ya. Uh, I'll save more for the next video of this restoration and hopefully that video I'll actually have something done. This is just like a, hey, look what I got kind of video. Um, I did figure out how to put the toolbox together when I get there. And funny enough, I bought a spot welder to do helmets. And I'm like, oh, I'm only going to use this once or twice and you know, what am I going to do with it afterwards? Turns out there's a lot of spot welding on a Jeep. So, good thing I bought that. <laughs> good thing I bought that. It's not as useless as I thought it was. So, that'll be fun. That'll be a fun project. This is going to be a long project and probably saves me a lot of work considering that the engine runs and I know a lot of people who've restored old cars and they can help me out, figure stuff out so I don't have to go through that. I, can, I have people to ask and yeah so if i ever find a problem i can be like hey i'm having this problem and they can give me their experience of what they they've experienced with old cars so that should be nice but that is going to be it for this video thank you for watching hope you enjoyed hope you're or hope you're excited for this project as much as i am and i can't wait for this thing to get all get started it's just sorting it out right now and figuring out what i can keep here and what i should bring over to you can call it a warehouse. It's just a place that we store stuff every now and then. But anyway, going, going off topic. Well, I will see you guys in the next one.